Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. It's currently at 9 a.m. and I'm right in the middle of watching my chem lecture and I took a shower this morning to kind of wake myself up. I have a lot of school work to do today. So, gosh, I always forget how good this stuff smells. I've been using this stuff for a long time. I'll link it below. This is like a leave-in conditioner. Um, and this is my second bottle of it. So I'll definitely buy it again too. Works really, really good. And just like gets all the tangles out of your hair and makes it smell super good. I'm wearing my new loungewear set from Misguided. So I'll show you guys that. But right now I should really be watching this lecture. Got my coffee lecture going. And you know what? Let's get the diffuser going too. So my chem lecture just ended, but I have lab at 11.30, so I have a little bit of a break, but I am gonna just be working through it the whole time. But I wanted to show you guys what the loungewear set looks like on. So this is the same one from Misguided that I just showed you guys in yesterday's vlog, and it's so comfortable. I love the raw hem and the way the shorts are high-waisted. It's just very cute and cozy. So this is my look for the day. Um, I will link this again for you guys if you didn't see that other vlog or if you might wanna get it because it's pretty affordable and it's so cozy. Chad and I just started cleaning. I don't really know what happened, so we just vacuumed and now I'm dusting. And to be honest with you, I think what's really going on right now is I'm trying to procrastinate about writing my paper. That's what this is. You can't write a five page paper in a dirty office. No, it has to be clean first. clean now I literally dusted everything I organized a few things in my drawers over here and I also cleared out my closet very mildly I still need to work on that but I didn't want to make it an all-day thing so I just got rid of some of the old boxes in there that I like to hoard and I put those in recycling and took out some of the clothes that I'm not really wearing as frequently and put them in my main closet in the bedroom so that is done I have absolutely no excuse not to start working on this paper now it smells amazing in here and so like I'm in such a perfect state of mind now to work on this paper and I have my little string lights which I don't know they just kind of like make the vibes in here very perfect and mellow for studying so here is my plan for the day I showed you guys this time blocking thing that I'm doing now so I thought I would show you what my layout looks like so I don't time block literally my whole day it's mostly just the morning but Wednesdays are always my long day because I have lecture lab and I also have my study sessions typically on Wednesday with Melissa Maribel so for that reason um, it went till 3 30 today but typically I've just been doing like when I wake up all the way until like around noon and then I eat lunch and then the rest of my day is a little bit more leisurely I just kind to follow a to-do list but for today here's what it looks like I obviously already had my chem lecture um, I'm supposed to start working on chem homework and my paper at 9 30 obviously I'm running a little bit behind because I decide to clean um, but at 11 30 I have my chem lab that I'm gonna do a lunch break and then in between that and my study sesh with Melissa Maribel I'm gonna work on my paper for genetics and then I will probably finish up with Melissa Maribel within like an hour and a half so probably around like five I'll probably do my workout this evening and maybe get some of these other things done like in between here but here is the plan so I am gonna go ahead and get started with just some of my chem homework on mastering chemistry which is always a blast literally mastering chemistry is the bane of my existence honestly I'll just be so happy whenever it's over because it takes so long oh here we go we have a video so anyway yeah I will <laughs> I'll work on this for a while and then I'll talk with you guys in a little bit finished my chemistry homework I'm so glad because I thought that was gonna take me way longer and it didn't take me that long um, lab starts in like five minutes so I'm gonna make a little fruit salad really quick before my lab starts and then um, we will have 
my lab and I'm not even in focus right now. Oh my gosh, drives me crazy. So I ordered a new camera. I haven't told you guys yet. Um, it should be coming in, I think on Friday. So maybe by my next vlog, I will have an updated camera and you won't have to deal with me constantly going in and out of focus. Driving me crazy. big bowl of fruit salad I'm just gonna eat this and lab is about to start so I just made a fresh page in my chem notebook and I will write down anything but chem lab has been so simple because he pretty much just walks us through what we would do in lab if we did have lab um, so it doesn't really take long at all probably be like 30 45 minutes and then I'll continue working on my paper I'm on FaceTime with my sister and I just made the whipped coffee from TikTok and I showed her how to make it. She's like mind blown by the process of how you make it. And a lot of people were asking if I was going to share it and I actually already did in a vlog but I'm waiting uh, for it to be able to go live because I have to wait for the brand to approve it. So I will be posting a tutorial in one of my vlogs coming soon. Um, it's amazing. I've been working on my paper for like the last 30 minutes solid and I am like two paragraphs in. Proud of that because I've been procrastinating and finding every reason to give myself breaks and not just get this thing going. And then of course I was interrupted by my Amazon package coming in but I thought this would be the perfect time to take a little break and show you guys what I got. I'll link these items below. Um, but I love my oil diffuser so I ordered another one to have out there because occasionally Chad likes to have one going like after we clean the house or sometimes he likes to do like eucalyptus oil um, while he's in the shower and he comes in here and he takes my diffuser out of my office and uses it so I decided to finally just get one that we can keep out in the kitchen or the living room um, and then he can use that like whenever this is the one I got it's different than this other one over here because this one's from home goods and I was unable to link that because it's very old and I got it forever ago um, but this one is currently on Amazon so if you guys are looking for one uh, this is the one that I got and I'll show you guys it's white my other one's white too and I just like the look of it it's very simple um, and it does have a glowing light so you can change the colors on that one and you can also do the same thing on this one but here's what it looks like and I think this one actually came with a little cup yes it did this is so nice so this one came with a little cup to refill the water that one didn't so I always have to just like use a random cup out of the kitchen to like fill it with water and this one has a little cup so you can measure it and pour the water in so here's the diffuser um, I'll show you guys once I get it set up, but I want to show you the other thing I got. You guys are probably thinking, my god, this girl really needs to stop ordering things online. And you're probably right. But here we are. So this is a water bottle that has timestamps on it. And it's massive. And I got this because I've been having, you know, an issue drinking water. And I've been drinking a lot of water out of my little Starbucks cup. And I love that thing. Um, but lately I've been wanting one that carries more water and has time trackers. It just has like, you start at 7 a.m. and it goes all the way until 9 p.m. And this is 64 ounces. So basically eight glasses of water in a whole day, which is about what you should be drinking. If I can refill this and get even more than that, that would be awesome. Um, but I love that it had a straw. That was like a requirement for me. I wanted something with a straw. And I also like that the cap completely covers the straw. So that way, if I take this to work with me, I don't have to worry about germs getting on my straw, just completely covered. So that was another reason why I wanted to get a new one. Okay, now we're gonna get back to my studying. Gotta get my brain food going. So here is what my paper is looking like so far. I am putting it like single space because I know I'm gonna have to double space it, but I love to like type it out like this. So that way when I double space it, I can see like how far I've come because I have to make it five pages double space. So here we go, we have one whole page. Um, I just put like in-text citation like that because I'm gonna have to go back and review APA format because I honestly don't quite remember how the in-text citations have to go. So anything that I need it to like do an in-text citation for, I'm just putting like this. Um, so that way I can go back and do it at the end and then back here I put all of my um, citations and like the websites where they came from. I'm going to erase this so don't tell me. I'm just doing that so that way I know exactly where these came from so I can make sure that I cite them all. But yeah, this is uh, 
what we have so far, so I'm proud. So I am currently on my lunch break and I just decided to come out here. I'm not really taking much of a break just because I don't have much time and I'm very much in the zone right now. So I am just doing a working lunch and I literally just made a PB&J. Of course, we're not focusing again. There we are. And I'm just going through the limiting reactants notes because that's like the next topic that we're doing in chemistry and I'm using Melissa Maribel's notes. So I want to show you guys those. Here are the limiting reactants notes. So this is like the table of contents just so you guys can kind of see what it goes over. So the concept of limiting reactants, theoretical yield, excess reactants, and then how to find out the percent yield, actual yield, and the leftover amount. So it tells you the whole concept and uses a really cool example that talks about ingredients. And this kind of helps you understand what a limiting reactant is because I I had no idea what it was until I read through these notes. Um, and then it shows you exactly how to find them with examples, pretty much everything you need. So if you're doing this concept in chemistry, I will link her notes in the description. Be sure to check them out. And I'll also link her channel where we're doing a whole study series if you guys haven't seen it yet. I have been working nonstop since my 8.30 a.m. class and it's now 5.30 and I'm not even done yet. Like I pretty much did everything I needed to do except finish this paper. Um, it's taking longer than I thought and I think it's because the disease that I got picked to write, like we got assigned them and mine is one that it's very difficult to get five pages out of because it's kind of simple. It's not something super interesting to write about. So right now I'm at like two and a half pages. I'm at that point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need a break, but there's no time to break because after I finish this, I'm gonna try to do a workout before I eat dinner. I really want to get a workout in today, um, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But on a positive note, I have been so productive today and I'm very proud of that. Like I've never got this much done in one day, like I said, since like this whole thing has started. So that is such a positive. I feel good about it. I'm just like really proud of myself because I proved to myself that even though I'm staying home, like I can be productive all day if I want to. It's a little bit later and I am finally about to go get my workout on. It's literally 6.55, so I'm going to be having probably like a 30 minute workout while the sun's going down, which I do not mind at all. That's how I've been doing my workouts a lot lately, like while the sun's going down. I actually kind of like it. It's pretty nice. So I figured I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. These are the Vital Seamless Leggings from Gymshark in the green marl color, and I'll link them. And then my shoes. So many of you guys have got these shoes since I have shared them with you, and they are awesome. These are my everyday workout shoes. They're the white Adidas Swift Run sneakers. And then I'm just wearing this cropped tank top that's actually from Amazon. You can get them in packs. So I have a couple of these and I really do love them. I will link these. I got these forever ago and they're just awesome to throw on with any pair of leggings. And I'm just wearing a black Lululemon sports bra. So that's the fit. Let's go work out. now so officially worked out to the sunset I love doing that and I'm like still out of breath reached 300 calories burned which I told you guys is really tough for me Chad is making pork chops for dinner oh my gosh those look amazing and stuffing and then what's our veggie asparagus, asparagus. and I'm gonna do some corn Wow, I really look a hot mess right now. But I took a shower and ate dinner, and now I'm actually editing a YouTube video that's gonna go up later this week, and then I'm gonna get ready for work and go to bed. So I work all day tomorrow, and I'll probably give you guys an update later this week about like what the ER is like. I know now they actually have the tents outside going, so they're screening the COVID patients and trying to like keep them outside of our ER. 
um, but I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what it looks like. Hopefully I'll get to take a look at that tomorrow and I'll let you guys know like what the new protocol is and how things are going. Uh, hopefully we got more masks in since I was there last week. That would be awesome. But I'm really not counting on it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.